Once upon a time in the deep blue sea, there was a massive great white shark named Gary. Gary became sad that he had never had a place to call home and longed to find a habitat with lots of tuna and warmer temperatures to keep him full and happy. One day, he decided to migrate outwards to explore the sea and swim until he found just the perfect ecosystem with lots of fish to eat and friends to hang out with. Gary couldn't have been happier. His new ecosystem was rich with tuna, his favorite meal, but lacked any squid or smaller fish. After a few days of getting comfortable in his new home, Gary began to eat a few since there were so many swimming around him. Surely eating just a couple wouldn't make too much of a difference, he thought. Day after day, Gary began to eat more until he started to see the tuna population decrease. As Gary ate more tuna, other fish like marlin and small sharks began to appear in larger numbers. Having a great white ensured the tuna couldn't outcompete the marlin and other sharks. However, Gary became sad that most of his tuna friends had disappeared. Determined to see if he was the cause, Gary migrated once again into the ocean to observe another ecosystem. This separate habitat was home to many different types of fish. Gary began to think, why had there only been tuna in his home previously? And why were things changing so drastically? Gary felt confused and thought he had hurt his new home, so he decided to go back. As Gary was on his way home, he came across a friendly elder shark. Hey there, kiddo, why so blue? The elder shark called out. Gary felt glum, and as he told the tale of his changing habitat, the elder shark recalled his own tales from his earlier years. I remember the days before I knew I was a keystone predator too. But don't worry, kid, you play an essential role. Keystone predators maintain the biodiversity in different marine ecosystems. Without a keystone predator, the top competitors like the big tuna around these parts run rampant. After explaining the role of keystone predators, the elder shark suggested a slight detour on the way home to demonstrate the importance of keystone predators. After arriving at the elder shark's destination, he began to say, it looks a bit different from the last time I was here, the elder shark told Gary. This was my old home and we used to live in perfect harmony until the humans came. When the humans started overfishing here, all of a sudden there wasn't enough food for everyone. They took our friends and in turn gave us their trash. Without food, I was forced to relocate and the downfall of this ecosystem followed shortly after. Gary was shocked by how fast human involvement had interrupted this once beautiful place. After witnessing the impact that humans and keystone predators have on the marine ecosystem, Gary thought, I can't let this happen to my home, and decided to go back. The elder shark grinned as he knew that he had set Gary on the right path. When he arrived home, he saw that his disappearance had caused the tuna to reappear significantly and outcompete others as the top competitors. Gary quickly returned to his role as a keystone predator, and their home began to change in a positive way. The big tuna were regulated and the other top predators, such as smaller sharks and marlins, began to reappear. Their balance was restored. The fish cheered with glee at Gary's return. Although he hadn't been a part of their home for a long time, he was the key to maintaining their happy balance and they couldn't be happier to have him back. Gary was a part of something important and he continued to fulfill this role until he was old and gray and he lived happily ever after. The end. In this children's book, we included several different ecological concepts such as shark migration patterns, mutualism, keystone predation, and human effects on marine ecosystems. Migration is exemplified in the first few pages of the book when Gary moves outward in search of food and more ideal water temperatures. Research has found that fluctuations due to abiotic factors have been shown to act as drivers of movement in shark species. For mutualism, you may have noticed the pilot fish that accompany Gary in a few of the pages. They are in a mutualistic relationship because the pilot fish get protection from predators while the shark gains freedom from different marine parasites. As for the impact that as for the impact humans have had on marine ecosystems, we can refer to the elder shark's old home. It was overrun with trash and desolate due to overfishing. With the ever increasing interaction between humans and the marine ecosystem, we've begun a pattern of habitat destruction, climate change, and overuse that if not changed, will continue to hurt marine biodiversity.